so guys welcome back to a new video and we are back with uh, try hack me in the previous video i solved hacktify week 2 and uh, i will also make a video on week 3 so subscribe the channel if you haven't yet and share it with your vtf internship friends if they need help in solving the ctfs or the room so in today's video we are going to solve junior penetration tester path having 34 laps or hand on laps or you can rooms you can say i won't be able to solve uh, all the rooms as i don't have the vip membership of try me so whatever rooms will be free to use i will solve them and post the video so you just keep on watching the video and uh, for the first part we have penetration pen testing fundamentals so let's just open that so now it says what is pen testing testing you can just read about it a pen pen testing testing or pen test is an ethical driven attempt to test and analyze um basically it is a you know a pen tester or pen testing a pen tester is a person who d does the pen testing and pen testing is a method of I'm um, doing a black box attack on a web app or a software or an application developed for Android or iOS that doesn't de depend. They try to bypass or check if there is issue bugs or if they can access the data servers and get the content or if they can uh, log into some user accounts of other people's something like that. So that is pen test so year by year the data are gaining it importance and hackers are you know increasing that's why we need pen testers to check the application it says there are over 2200 cyber attacks every day it means one attack every 39 seconds that's a huge amount of that so i will just mark it as completed because we have read or you can just read it by your own so now it says uh, what are the types of hackers we have like white hat, grey hat, black hat. I know you already know about it. White hat who works ethically and grey hat who sometimes do black hat types and another time white hat. Another one is black hat means for their own purpose whether to gain uh, money or you know take down of servers th that you know. Now we have rules of engagement. That, that is a document created at the initial stage of a pen testing. Um, uh, the Science Institute, you already have uh, heard the name of it, I guess. So it says what are the section of it and the description, you can just have a look at it. So let's just follow by the questions. So now it's ask you are given permission to pro perform a security audit on an organization. What type of hacker would you be? So we have permission that means it is ethical so that will be white hat now we attack an organization and steal their data so that's the purpose of a black hat and now it's asked uh, what document defines how a penetration testing engagement should be carried out so as i said earlier rules of engagement i will just copy it So now the task tree says uh, penetration testing methodologies. So it says um, uh, what are the stages during a pen test like information gathering, enumeration or scanning using Nmap or Nixto or if using directly searches go or anything like that. Checking if any port is open or not, how we can gain access to the web servers, now exploit exploitation then after privilege escalation or post exploitation to man maintain the um, access to the server and reporting it to the company now we are, have a framework of testing strategies that is named as OSSTMM that is the open source security testing methodology manual it covers about uh, telecommunication wired network and wireless communication the advantages are and disadvantages are given as follow you can just have a look now we have about OAPs 
I guess you already know about the OF's top 10 vulnerabilities that a bug bounty hunter always check for in a web application server during their pen testing. Now we have about NIST Cybersecurity Framework. This is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. You can just have a look uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of it. Now we have another extensive framework of 14 principles that is NCSC CAF. And uh, another advantage and disadvantage, you can just have a look at it. Those are easy to understand, so I won't be going in uh, you know details. So now it's ask what stage of penetration, penetration testing involves using publicly available in information. So if we go for publicly av available information, that is you know OSINT here. As you can see, this stage involves collecting as much publicly accessible information about a target organization as possible. That is OSINT and research. This does not involve scanning. So the answer will be information gathering here. Now it's asked if you want to use a framework for pen testing, sorry, pen testing telecommunication. What framework would you use? Note we are looking for acronym here, not for the full name. So as we saw earlier, there is one having three telecommunication wired wireless that is OSS TMM. Another one is what framework focuses on testing of web application. As I said earlier, you have heard about OAPS. That was it for the task three not for task four we have black box white box gray box pen testing testing as we know black box uh, pe pen testing process uh, the hacker or the attacker doesn't have knowledge not even a bit of knowledge about the web servers or web applications they are trying to hack they just have a url or you know ip address or the scope to which they can uh, sorry within which they have to attack now the gray box are uh, attack types in which person have a bit of knowledge, you know, limited knowledge about the web app. And for the white hat, uh, white box, the attacker have the full knowledge like source code, all the IPs, file name, directory's name. They already have that. Now they test how they can, uh, you know, further es escalate to web servers accessing. That's it. So you are asked to test an application but not a given access to its source code. So that is black box. Now you are asked to test a website you are given access to source code. That will be white box. Now it says we have to go for a ACME pen testing test. So we have an assignment here. You have to just uh, you know read and by clicking the green button on the task uh, let's just go for it just click on view site here it will load now it says about uh, what are the benefits of permissions test scope rules you can just have a look at here i will just do next it says about what is information gathering and how can we do that next now about enumeration if uh, we can scan this IP if we want so we're scanning so there are no login services available but there is a web service available again we have exploitation means we can uh, use metaspot framework or msf venom or anything else and gain access to the server so that we can get our um, reverse shell now it's post exploitation means uh, from a lower to privileged we should uh, be gaining admin access of the web application next uh, cl um, uh, making a pen test report is the most important thing in uh, pen test and testing and uh, you know clearing up the paths or the um, you know um, uh, digital footprints is also an uh, important thing so this is our flag here, let's just copy and paste it. 
so this room is done and you can click here to redeem to get your 5 euros or i guess 3 euros swag voucher so that was it in the presentation testing room in the next video we will go with principle of security in the junior pen testing presentation tester path so don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video if we just found your answers here see you in the next video till then stay safe and happy thank you